All right, y'all, so we're back out here at Elevated AF, and a while back, we built a lifted three-wheeler. This one right here, to be specific. You know, this thing's cool at all, and I was like, you know what? I, I think I just need to make it just a little bit cooler. So I got some ideas. Basically, the plan is to put triples on this thing. I'm talking an extra two wheels on each side. We're going to make this thing basically float. So, uh... Once we get the three wheels on it, we'll take it out mudding, see how it is. And if it goes well, maybe we'll do it on some other quads. Also, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton, and I appreciate it so much. I'm not kidding. You should definitely try it. I'm telling you, it really works. Okay, so I think I just got to put this lift in a bit closer here. Uh, nope, wrong one. Okay, well, that doesn't seem to want to work. So we'll just try lift it up here. Yeah, that works. I'm sure the guys will be able to work on it from there, but what they're going to do is put basically the other four wheels on this thing that we're going to need. We're just going to leave the front one uh, just how it is because, well, can't really put any bigger wheels on that. And if we did, it'd probably be impossible to steer. Now, they're on lunch break right now, so after they're done that, they'll get working on that. But for now, we're going to get uh, the gooseneck hooked up here to the any level, and uh, we'll get all set up to go out and do some mudding as soon as the three-wheeler's done. Okay, so the any level may be slightly ever so slightly tall for the uh, gooseneck but yeah we should be okay okay so what else are we gonna take out there today i think we're gonna grab the four tracks and we'll also grab the renegade just kind of want to uh bring some extra stuff out there well in case maybe the uh, three-wheeler decides it's gonna i don't know break an axle out at the trail which is entirely possible you know what i'm also thinking we're gonna bring out a dirt bike as well why not we'll try it out there see if it's any good probably is not gonna work terribly great but we'll try it it's worth a shot so you guys may or may not notice here that the shop is looking pretty empty now usually we restock it because well we're always selling quads and stuff but we're actually moving shops here pretty quick so we're kind of just getting rid of all the inventory in here currently we're working on moving to a new shop that's what we got the u-haul here so very shortly here you guys should be seeing the new shop Okay, so the guys have told me that the three-wheeler is ready to go here. So we're going to go check this thing out. Oh, 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 three wheels on each side. This is going to be interesting. Look how big they are. This is going to be... I don't even... Are we going to be able to drive this in the mud? Is this even going to have enough power? All it's got is a chain drive, so I feel like this is going to break. But yeah, we'll try it anyway. Look at how wide this thing is now. This is ridiculous ridiculous like we built some pretty crazy things here at elevated af but this has got to be one of the most interesting things i think we've ever built before like what the <laughs> it looks straight up like a tractor with the triples on it i feel like we're we're gonna break an axle definitely it's gonna happen it barely even fits on the trailer it's about to stick out on both sides it, this ought to be interesting i I have no idea how this is going to go in the mud. It might do well. It it might do really bad because I feel like it could get hung up, but I guess we'll see. If anything, it should just float. And if it doesn't, well, I, I don't know. We'll find out. But everything's loaded up here. We got the any level all loaded down. We're going to get out to the uh, mud trails there, see how it is. And uh, well, hopefully the three-wheeler does good. But I'll see you guys when we get there. Okay, so we are here at the trails. We uh, made it down here. It's quite a drive, but uh, I'm excited to actually get out, do some mudding, especially with that three-wheeler. This ought to be interesting. The chances that we actually break something, yeah, I'm going to put it around, uh, uh, I'd say a 99% chance we're probably going to break something. Weakest link on this three-wheeler? I'd have to say it's the links in the chain. Yeah. Um, pun not intended, but uh, yeah, that, that's probably what's going to break. Um, this, this quad is very slow. At least backing up, you know, you throw it in... Uh, first gear here it's already going fast so we'll save the three-wheeler till a little bit later uh, i don't want to uh break something the instant we try to go on the trail here i think uh we're gonna take out the four tracks first you know why not we've had the four tracks out in some mud before oh boy we smacked the dirt bike but uh i feel like not enough yet we spent too much time building this thing and it was way too much fun to build so i feel like this thing is well deserved some time in the mud also i haven't even got close to sinking it yet so uh yeah that's gotta change and there's some pretty deep water if you know where you're going around here. Okay, so this right here is kind of the first big mud hole. I'm pretty sure it gets real dang deep through here. Oh, what? We're not even up to the snorkels yet. But I mean, it did go right through it. It's got those big old tires on it, so. Okay, where's those real deep parts here in the swamp? We had the three-wheeler out here last time, and uh, we completely sunk it. I want to find that spot. Oh, yeah. Here's the deep stuff. <laughs> We're getting pretty close. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't get any deeper. We're going to sink the quad. I want to get water in the snorkels. I think this is kind of, yeah, that's kind of like the deepest spot is it's just above those snorkels. Well, just under actually, but oh boy, this one might get a little too deep. Oh, maybe not. It might be okay. Yeah, this one's going to get too deep. Nope. 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 Not going to happen. I'd water wheel it if I could, but uh, you know, this quad doesn't work too well for that, which is kind of a shame. It would be a lot more fun. The Rennie's got a way bigger snorkel on it. So, oh boy, are we stuck? No, we're not stuck, are we? Oh, you got to be kidding me. We're stuck. We're hung up. Oh man. Okay, let's try to rock this thing back and forth. There we go. We got it out. I still got to get a massive snorkel on that three wheeler. It's going to happen one of these days. Okay, so now that we kind of found where the best uh, mud holes are with the four tracks here, we're going to try out the three-wheeler. Um, Technically, this thing should float through just about anything, but it may not. I guess we will just have to see. Actually, yeah, the front end's just going to go right down. There's there's no way. Okay, it's actually not too bad. Kind of just uh, going across everything. Better than with the two tires just on the back, though. The only issue I could see us running into is if we don't have enough power to spin the back tires once it gets into mud. That could really be the only issue. But if we can get around that, then I think we'll be okay. I really do want to engine swap this uh, three-wheeler, though. Maybe a dirt bike engine or something. Oh, boy. We're not already stuck, are we? No. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, we're kind of just going to go around all of this. Oh, see, it doesn't like going up that. Because I really don't want to sink this thing today. Let's try just cruise in here. As long as we just keep going at a steady pace, it seems to be okay. But as soon as you start slowing down, it just does not want to go anywhere. Oh, boy. That's a little bit deeper than I'd like to go. Yeah, with these triples on the back, it just cruises through everything. Oh, boy. Some deep mud through here. I mean, this might be the setup. Maybe I need to start doing this to some other quads. I feel like it's a good way to break stuff, though. So I'm definitely hearing some sounds that are not supposed to be coming out of the three-wheelers. So something's bound to break here pretty quick. So uh, we're in a deep part of the pond right now, and uh, we're just kind of floating here. Yeah, the uh, the front end's sunk down pretty good, but uh, back end, you know, just kind of floating. Well, I may have really screwed up here. Um, I got, I got stuck real bad. I got stuck under this log and there's not much I can do. I'm, I'm trying to go, but it's just spinning. It's pinned underneath there. You can try go forward. Oh, nope. It just quit. That's not good. Um, <laughs> quad is going nowhere at the moment here. I can go as much as I want and we're just spinning away. The, the quad is not having it. I'm just trying to give it a little bit of gas here to try to get out. And it's just, it's not going. Okay. So as I was trying to get this thing out, uh, it caught on a log, the one side there. And I heard something snap. Whatever that could be, it could be the chain. I don't know. I can't see underneath there. It could have been, I don't know, something underneath there. I don't know what it is. But yeah, we broke the three-wheeler. We done broke it bad. I shouldn't have been in there to begin with because, uh, well, we could barely actually go through there without sinking it. So now I guess I got to walk back again like we did the last time the three-wheeler broke and go grab something to pull it out. Except this time we don't have a side-by-side. -side, so this ought to be interesting. All right. I finally made it back. Oh, boy. Well, the best thing I can think of to tow that quad out is the Renegade. Probably what's going to work best here. So I'll grab a chain from the back of the truck and we'll head back out there, see if we can get it out. Hey, at least now we actually get to take the Renegade out mudding. Even though it's really rough here, I got brand new shocks on this thing, so it is rough. Actually, we'll just take it through here. Why not? See, look how much taller this thing sits than the uh, four tracks. This thing is like ridiculously tall. Now I got to see if I can find that three-wheeler though. Well, there it is right up ahead. I found it. Let's just uh, drive on in here. Oh, yeah, there's that big log. Okay, so we got it hooked up here. We're just going to try just yank it out. Hold on. Might not have been hooked up good. Okay, now we got it. So we got the uh, three-wheeler yanked out here. Uh, I, I think something's definitely broken on it. I'm not too sure what at the moment. But when I was trying to drive it out there, I heard a loud kind of crunching, grinding noise. So that couldn't have been too great. Um, I don't even know what to do with this thing. Would I even try to get it out of here at this point? Probably should. But for the time that it was running, it did do pretty good actually in the mud. Better than I thought it would. So I, I guess that's kind of a plus, sort of, maybe. I, I don't know. I think I may actually, if I can, I don't know if there's a back way in here or whatever, but I was going to try bring the truck back here so I could just load it back into the truck. But I don't actually think the Renegade is going to be able to pull this thing back to the uh, trailer with the triples. So I may have to leave it out here for the night, come back tomorrow morning with the side by side or something. See, what would really be cool is if I had a wrecker bed on a side-by-side. -side. You know how cool that would be? But yeah, just with the triples on there, I don't think we're actually going to be able to get it out unless it still drove to some capacity and I had another driver on there, but I just don't think it's going to happen. Well, we're back in the truck here. I was going to take out the dirt bike and do some mudding with it, but I forgot how many logs there were out on the trail. 
And I feel like that's not going to be a good idea. I feel like that's a good way to uh, wreck a dirt bike pretty fast. So we're probably not going to do that. But I'm going to get everything loaded up here and we're going to head back home and grab a side by side, probably bring it out here tomorrow and see if we can get that uh, three wheeler out. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. Hope y'all enjoyed. And I'll see y'all. Yeah. Cranking up the radio, playing old Hank, it ain't that long, till I'm back at the farm. I'm pulling up the truck, down at the dock, it's time to